Since posting the last video, a few folks have reached out on social media and they were kind of curious to understand how the choker and winch system works on this Clark Skidder. So, with that being said, I decided to do a little segment on the choker winch assembly and how it works. Shown in the image is the choker bell and ferrule assembly. In this image, we have the choker cable ferrule. The choker cable is then wrapped around the object you're wishing to pull, with the ferrule then being inserted in the choker bell assembly. Once inserted, the choker cable can be cinched up and is ready for the pull. Here, give that one here. You know, up until doing this video, I really had no indication of what the rated capacity was for this winch. But after a little research, I discovered that the 664C had a manufacturer uh, winch capacity of 30,000 pounds, which I find actually really impressive for a little machine like this. at this point in the video and in particular in this location I really found the machine handled the winch load quite well. I think in part it had to do with a lot of the traffic uh, in the area and actually uh, because of that traffic we disrupted the, the logs that were frozen to the ground we you know, cleared the snow that was on top of the logs and, and made it look a little easier than you know, perhaps some of the other ones, uh, other trees that were winched out of there previously. In this clip here, it, there was one tree that was just giving us a heck of a time. We were trying to open up a new area and all the trees that were previously pushed over by the cat somehow were one way or another tangled around this tree. So what we did here was we just fell the one and that ended up giving us access to all the other ones uh, around it that were buried beneath the snow. That's the power of the winch on these machines. Not only is it the power of the winch, but it's just the overall advantage of a line machine when doing work like this. I mean, you can literally hook on to multiple logs in different locations and you're able to just winch them right in.
here. It was towards the end of the day and we were at that point quite frustrated with wading through waist high snow and just kind of at a point of exhaustion. So we pushed the uh, machine a little harder than maybe we normally would have in the snowy conditions without chains. But nonetheless, uh, it did really well and we were able to get a few more trees that were otherwise buried under the snow. Well, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time where we take a look at our sawmill operations. So that video should be coming out shortly. Until then, we'll see you later.